Glory be to God. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you. We exalt your holy name. Well, saints, I'm here with your prophetic word of what God wants to say to you and what he is saying to you in this hour at this time. I want you to know before we get started that Again, prophecy is something that has happened, getting ready to happen, or, or it's happening now. So when you hear your prophecies, I want to make, I want you to be somewhere in a quiet space. It's best to do it where there is no distractions so that you can hear and understand exactly what God is saying to you. When God is speaking to you, when your color comes up and God is speaking to you directly, be mindful of the things that is coming to your spirit. The very things that come to your spirit is that is the thing that God is speaking of. Every now and then the enemy will throw in something that tries to be in try to be a duplicate or a not necessarily a duplicate, a a a form or a fake uh, thing or a false thing, something that he came up with, um, those things you can just push to the side. And knowing God is speaking to you directly, that thing that bubbles up in your spirit, that things that comes up, is the very thing that he wants you to know about. Is the very thing that he's speaking on. When we speak prophetically, it's all about privacy god is not interested in embarrassing you anymore. um he's not interested in making anyone feel a sort of way these words are to encourage you it's, 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 it's set up to direct you it's set up to comfort you and then there is there is also set up to um correct you um who wouldn't want to be corrected? Who wouldn't want to know the truth? Who wouldn't want to be going out down one road and end up and when they should be going out on another? I wouldn't want to waste my time like that, and I'm sure you don't either. So let's get started. What we're going to do, we're going to pray. And as we pray, we'll go into it. Um, again, stay till the end of this recording. Why? Because as as we prophesy your color could come back up at any time you never know when your color is going to come up so listen to all of the prophecies um, and rejoice for those that are rejoicing uh, be happy for those that god is speaking or god is saying uh speaking into their lives be happy for them you know rejoice with others that are rejoicing amen let us pray precious father in the name of jesus god we come before your throne God, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. And most of all, God, we thank you for your presence. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you would be with us tonight, even as we prophesy unto your people. I pray, oh God, that even as your word go out, that it won't return void, but that it will establish, bring understanding, bring clarity, bring direction, bring correction, bring edification, whatever it is that you desire for it to be done, Lord, may be done through me. Father, I step out so that you can step in, and I'm asking that you'll take this personal time with your people, his Shanabo, and speak to them, oh God, the things that you need them to know at this moment, the things that you want them to know right now. Handa shakaka. Come on, just worship him. Yes, shana na Come on, let's just praise him. Come on, give him a minute. Let's worship him together. Handa bo shantaya. Come on, let's worship him. Hey, handa la bo shan. Eke la la bo shan da. Eke la la bo na na la bo shan. Hey, handa bo 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 shan. Oh glory, handa bo shan. Yes, Lord, handa bo shan. You are worthy. Father, we exalt you for your own story. Thank you for what you've done. And Lord, most of all, thank you for what you're about to do. 
glory, glory, glory to your name, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise, Lord. Father, we had 10,000 tongues. We couldn't praise you enough, Lord. We praise you. We magnify you, Lord. We exalt you. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, saints. Let's go in together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go in together. Let's go in together. Hallelujah. I bind that distraction right there in the name of Jesus. Pause the video. You can pause it, pause it, and deal with the distraction. Then come back. Hey, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is finished. It is completed. Thank you, Jesus. It is finished. It is finished. It is done. Hanarabo shataya. Iki nerabo shanta. Nerabo shanta. Nerabo shanta. Nerabo shanta. Sister Green, it is done. Nerabo shanta. It is done. Nerabo shanta. Nerabo God said, "May be done unto you, as you believe it to be done." Sister Green, I hear God simply saying to you, "Just hold on." God said, "He ain't finished yet." God said, "You ain't seen anything yet. There's so much more." To what he's doing in this hour in this time God said he was chosen you and then a lot of times when we're chosen we we, we don't understand what that what all that entails we just heard chosen but 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 we don't understand that means that you've been selected out of many and God said he's going to choose he's using you to do what it is that he needs to get done so God, God said, may it be done, may it be done, may everything that you desire and everything that you want, everything that you're that you're that you're trying to accomplish, God said, may it be done. And sometimes those things become complicated, sometimes those things become difficult. Um, sometimes it's hard to 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 seems to get this to go over here and, and, and for these to join together and for these to fit. And God said He's it's going to start to fit easily. And it becomes it's gonna come together so simple. And it's gonna come together so simple that sometimes when it does come together, is you <laughs> you will spend so much time looking back at it because it came together so easy that you're gonna wonder and, and, and wonder, well, is it is, is is it truly done? Is it truly finished? You you're gonna wanna go back and touch it because you wouldn't expect it to come together so easily because things sometimes come so hard. But God says it's gonna be easy. God says it's gonna be simple. God said it's going to be simple. It's going to be done simply. And I see there's a concern. There's a concern of, of, of what's taking place. And, and you're wondering, you've been trying to figure out, is it possible that it could be taking place? And, 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 and you're saying it can't be. And, and sometimes when, when we wonder those type of things, we, we, we start to question ourselves of saying, are we enough? Uh, is there is there is there a look elsewhere? Is someone is, is someone grabbing the attention of the one that should be looking at me only? And I hear God said that He's getting involved. He's getting in the middle of that thing. And just as before, God said He's bringing it back to the beginning, where when it was first introduced and it first came together. It was beautiful. It was it was everything that you thought it would be, and 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 God said it's going to it's going to go back to its original state. God said He's going to control it. He's going to bring it back to its original state. I shall not go shut Come on, y'all, worship God for her. Praise God for Sister Green. Come on, come on, praise God for what's taking place in her life. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Red, there's a rushing wind that's coming your way. There's a wind. Now, this is a wind that you're not familiar with. And this is a wind that's coming to bring some of the things that you never thought you would have. There's a, there's a rushing wind. And, and, and this wind, is, it's a twofold wind. And the purpose of the wind is to blow away the things that you don't want 
and to bring the things that you do. Oh my God, I feel the wind. I feel the wind just flowing in your direction. I, I, I see it blowing all over you. It's almost like having a fan uh, set at the end of your bed and it blows across your body. I, I feel that, it, that, that this wind is going to blow all across everything that you that you have, that you are part of, that you do, is a fresh wind coming. And it's getting ready to blow away all of the things that has been in your way, that has held you back, that have stopped you from being who God created you to be. I, I hear entrepreneurship in your life. I hear entrepreneurship. I hear God saying that don't forget the thing that he's giving you. God is giving you more than what you do in your daily profession. God said, there's something greater beyond your daily profession. Your daily profession, God said, was just to be a stepping stone. Your daily profession is just enough to supply the finances for the dream. God said, use the the, the daily uh, uh, the daily uh, profession to supply for the dream is to use that to be a blessing over here so that when God is done with you, I'm going to shut that, I'm going to shut that. God said he's going to bring it to a place. And he said it's been in different places before. And it seemed like when it was there before, it's like, you know, one minute it, it did well, and then it, then, it, then it didn't, then it did well, and then it didn't. Then it got to a place where it was so up and down that you had to let go. But God said, no, no, no. He's asking you to pick it back up. Oh, glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear God say, pick it back up. Pick it back up. At this time, he's going to take it to the next round. God said, you got to understand something. There's not a, a, a true entrepreneur, Steve Jobs, uh, 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 Jeff Bezos, uh, 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 any, of these, any of these entrepreneurs that you can imagine failed several times. They, 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 they blew it several times. They had to restart it over and over again. And God said, that's how you get to the top. Because every time you restart, you restart in a different realm. You restart with a new knowledge, with a new understanding. God said, don't only just get into it, but God said, also get an understanding of it to the point where when you do do it this time, this shaka, that love shaka, it's going to be a greater reward that comes out of it. God said it's not about the money. See, see, we, we, we focus so much on the money, but God said it's not about the money. It's about the knowledge. God said you get the right knowledge, the money will follow. You get the right understanding, the money will follow. So God said just get the understanding that you're looking for. Get the understanding. Get a clear, get a clear vision of what it is that he's calling you to do. And God said just do it. I feel the wind. I feel that wind all over you. I feel it all over you. Even when you, even wherever you listen to this right now, you can feel the wind coming into the room. You can feel the wind blowing in. This is not a tomorrow prophecy. This is a day prophecy for you. It's coming in. And God said, pick it up. Pick it up. Starting today. Pick it back up. God, I hear God also say he's doing something in management with you as far as your managing skills. God said you, you got to get better. You got to get tighter. You have to get to a place where you become uh, a wiser. God said be a wise steward when it comes to his finances. God said you, 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 you're a giver, but you don't give enough. God said you, 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 when it comes to giving, you're, you're a little bit tighter than it is then when it's time for you to spend and God said you have to kind of flip that scenario because remember the, the the kingdom system remember what we preached and teached about the kingdom system remember the kingdom system is the giver that is blessed it's the giver that gets so much it's not the one that that, that hoards and hold and, and or spend elsewhere God says the God said Start to look at the receipts. God says, start to look at the the the, 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 the prices. God says, start to look at it and say to yourself that this is the time to do it and this is the time not to do it. Oh, God. Glory be to God. He shed out of all God. God said, every other situation that you're concerned about, he said, that's wind. That same wind is going to take care of it. It's blowing in and it's going to blow out. Glory be to God. Come on, rejoice with her. Come on, rejoice with her. Come on, somebody, rejoice with her. Praise God with her. Brother Yellow, 
Brother Yellow, I see God just drawing you close. I mean, I see God standing there with his arms outstretched for you. He wants to grab you and hold you. He wants to comfort you and love on you. He wants to show you what love really is. You 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 missed it. You 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 it's funny because you want love and it's it's hard for you to receive love because you never saw it. It, it and it's it's, it's 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 hard to receive something you never saw. But God said he's going to show you what love is. And God said he's going to love you. He's going to start loving you through people. That you'll start to see people just showing you the love of God in such a way that you'll understand what love really is. But he said you've got to open up to it. Because sometimes when when when, when love comes in and we're, or something comes in that we're not used to, oh, man, we, we get nervous. We get scared. It gets to the point like, what is this? I, like this, it don't feel right. But God said, no, 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 no. God said, let it happen. Let it happen. Everybody ain't there to deceive you. Everybody ain't there to, to trick you. Everybody ain't there to take from you. Some people just honestly wants to come and embrace you. Want to honestly just come and love on you. God said, He's sending His love to you. Sending His love towards you. It'd be great for you. I, here's here's what I hear God say. It'll be I hear God saying it'll be great for you to go back to that love series. That love series. That 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 that. That on YouTube, go back through that love series one through is it five of those? Go go back through that series so that you can understand it and recognize it when it comes in your life. God said He's sending love in you. He love to you. He's sending love in a way that is just amazing. Love is not what you thought it has been. Love is not always. Uh, a, 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 a sexual thing and I know a lot of times when it comes to love our mindset is that okay if, if you if I'm giving myself to you and you're giving yourself to me it, it must be love it, that's not always love sometimes that can just happen simply out of pleasure it has nothing to do with love you can honestly go and, and, and give yourself to somebody and not love them at all so that's not the case guys and that's not that's not what love is and we can't get stuck on that that's an expression of love in a way and that's usually when you're already in love you know what i mean so so but you can't do that if you don't even know what love is so god is saying he's sending love to you come on now he shut up oh shut god said he gave you he's sending you love and if you if you would get quiet at this moment if you get real 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 real, real quiet real real quiet real quiet real quiet real quiet shh Quiet your mind. Quiet your heart. Quiet your spirit. Just quiet. Just quiet. God said, if you do this, you'll be able, you'll begin to sense this love coming on you right now. You'll feel this embrace over you right now. You'll feel him touching you and holding you right now. You'll feel this touch. You'll feel how good he is. You'll taste and see how good he is. God said that love, his love is falling on you right now. He's pouring his love all over you right now. He's just pouring it on you. God said, it's okay, it's okay. Let, let, let the tears out. Let the tears out. Let the tears out. Because the tears, just, that, that's okay. That's just an expression of what of feeling the presence of God. Just let it out. Let it out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Let, let him embrace you. Don't, no, 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 no. Nobody else. Don't, no, don't look around. Don't get distracted. Just, 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 just stay there. Shh. Quiet. Shh. Quiet. Just let him love on you. Just let him love on you. Oh, glory. Just let him love on you. Hallelujah. That love, that love that we're speaking of, Sister Red, that, that's, that, that's, that's part of the wind. See, the wind is the love of God that's coming in. See, here's he, he, where the issue is. Sister, Sister Red, you, 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 you haven't experienced love either. And, 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 and it's, it's bad because all of the things that you thought were love was a disappointment. And it kept causing you to feel low and down. And, 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 and it's like, this can't be real. This, it got to be better than this. It is. Like I said, it is. It is. There is. There is. There's a love that's greater than your body. There's a love that's greater than, than, than what you say and do. There's a love because sometimes people will attract or attach themselves to you based on what you have and how you look. It's bigger than that. 
God loves you even when you tore up from the floor. God said he loves you regardless. And that coming in, I, I feel that wind coming in for you too. It's just coming in. Shh. Be quiet, be quiet. Just, just let it come. Just let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Go ahead. Lift your hands. I see your hands going up now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Boo hoo. Nobody else around. Nobody can hear you. Go ahead and scream if you have to. Just let it out. 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 You guys said, just open your heart. Open your heart. Let him in. He's coming. He's coming in right now. Right now. It's Shanabo Shata. Mmm. Mmm. Shata. Mmm. Ekarabo Shata. Sister Brown, Sister Brown, God is saying to you is that He's going to use you to push up another. God said, for you to get to the next level, He's going to use you to push somebody else to the next level. See, the Bible said we reap what we sow. And, 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 and what you do for another is what turns and happens for you. So God said, it, it's not about you. Because sometimes sometimes you want to be the center of the attention. You want to be the one. You want to be, every, everybody, everybody look at me. And God said, no, 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 no. God said, is there's time for you to be in, uh, out front. But before you go front, before you go to the front, you got to push somebody else to the front. And I hear God said that he's going to use you to push because you have influences. You're, you're very influential. You're, you're very influential. And you have these giftings and talents that is needed. God said you have to figure out where those talents is best used. God said, you guys, I hear God said, check, check in and figure out what you could do for somebody else what could you do to to be a blessing so that God said he can be a blessing to you what could you do with the talents that God has given you and there are many talents there's there's great talents that he's given you God said he's gonna do he's gonna use those talents to be a blessing and then he's gonna turn around and bless you through those things our glory our glory I hear God said that worship God right where you at. Just go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship him. Your logic, that other shot. I hear God said that sometimes your logic gets in the way with his word and, and with what he's spoken. See, you, I have that issue. I had that issue for a long time. Um, I'm, I'm a man of, 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 of great wisdom. And, and being a man of wisdom, uh, sometimes my wisdom gets in the way. With, with God's wisdom because God's wisdom is so great that it seems foolishness to me sometimes and the Bible says it like this that the the, the, the foolishness of God is greater than even the greatest one with wisdom the greatest wisdom that we know God's foolishness is greater than that so sometimes God comes in a way in your life in a foolish way and it's, it's kind of weird because it's like, this doesn't make any sense. Why should I do that? But the reason why you got to do it, the reason why you got to do it is because it is God. And even though it does not make all the sense in the world, quit trying to make sense out of it, I hear God say. Don't, don't, don't try to figure it out. Just do it. He didn't ask you to figure it out. He just told you to go ahead and do it. And when it is done, then you will see the purpose of why you had to do it that way. God said he is doing it a big thing in your life and he's doing a great thing in your life there's a great 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 call on your life to do some really good things and and, and sometimes it's, it, that's hard to believe because you're basing it on on the things that you see but god said eyes have not seen ears have not heard the things that he has prepared for those that love him you have no idea what's prepared for you you have no idea you have no idea of the things that God has prepared for you. None. Just trust God. 
and stay connected. God says stay connected to what's feeding you the most. God said eat, 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 eat until you're full. Eat until you can't eat anymore. God said you, the more you eat, the greater you become. See, we, we, we don't understand that. In, in the, in, 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 just like in the world, the more books and stuff that you read in the world, the more wiser you become. Well, it's the same thing with God. The more you learn and eat of his word, the wiser and greater you become. So God is trying to make you greater. So eat, 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 eat. Sometimes you're a little bit slow when it comes to eating. God said, uh-uh, you have to, that, don't put nothing before eating. God said, eat and then we put it backwards. Don't put the cart before the horse. Put the horse before the cart. My God, he's shining. Come on, worship God with her. Come on, worship God with her. I shut it up, oh, God. He can do the most shut that. I love all shut that. He did the most shut that. Sister Pink, I, I, I see God. God says, once again, one more level. You just went up. <laughs> it's funny. You just hit a level. But God said, here's another level. God said, he's taking you up even higher. Glory, you're going from glory to glory to glory. God said, you're going from level to level to level. And God said, he's bringing you on a different level. But God said, he, he's, he's doing something with your self-esteem. Because sometimes you don't feel like you're good enough. Or you don't feel like you are worthy enough. Or you don't feel like you're, you, 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 you always try even since she was a little, little, little girl, you always try to be like this little girl or that little girl, and and and, 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 and it drove you crazy because you you never kind of you never really fit. It's like you always stood out, and God said that was on purpose. That was that was shy. It, oh glory, that was on purpose. That was done because He never wanted you to fit in with the clique or the club. He never wanted you to be part of what everybody else was part of and try to get you to do what everybody else was doing. That wasn't, that wasn't his design for you. God said he did not create you. It, it, he said you have to get this, that you are enough. Shut that, Boko. Shut that. You're enough. You're enough for everything that you have right now. You're enough for it. You are enough. It's, 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 you're fine. You're fine. God said you have to be okay in your own skin. He made you the way that you are because that's how he wanted you to be. A lot of times we, 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 we have fights within ourselves because we, we're not comfortable with who we are. But God said, I made you to be exactly the way you are. Sister Sister Brown, that's for you too. He made you to be exactly who you are. God said, do not let society, do not let people, do not let circumstances, do not let other things interrupt who he created you to be. He said, it's okay. You're so afraid sometimes to make a mistake or afraid to let you out because you figure if you let you out, then then you're not going to be liked or, or you're not going to be accepted or you're not going to be, uh, it's almost like, it's, it's, it's funny, it's taking, me back to, it's taking me back to high school. It's almost like when, you, when, you, when you're in high school, you, you want to be part of the cool kids club, but but you're part of the interesting club, and it's okay to be interesting. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be you, you know. So 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 be all right in your on your skin. I hear God say, and God said that level, this next level, this next place that He's taking you. God said, always see, always see what He's doing in your life. Always see, and all will praise God on what they see taking place in your life. My God, my God. God say, you know, you 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 had some hard things that you had to go through. You went through some some serious moments and you dealt with some serious serious testings and you dealt with some serious struggles. But God said you have to understand that all of that was to bring you to where you are now, to the next place. So that when people see you, they'll reckon they'll know where you came from. And they all know that it was God that got you there. It was God that got you there. God said he, he, he's trying to get you to open up more so that you can love 
the skin you in and love the person you are. Enjoy who she is. Come on, worship God with her. Thank you, God. Glory, 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 hallelujah. And I see something happening in your finances. I see your finances going to another level. I see your finances going to double. Isha, whatever you at now, it's going to double. God says, and you you think you got enough, or you think that that's a lot that you got. God says, no, no, you're going to double it. Isha, glory be to God. God said, he's going to double it. God said, you are a virtuous woman. A virtuous woman, meaning that you are going to be the crown uh, your life, who you are, is going to be a crown for your husband. When they see you, they're going to know that this man is great because of you. Oh, glory. Come on, worship God. He, who, yes, the Brother White, Brother White, God is, 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 is on you, and the reason why he's on you, because you're heading into a, a realm that he wants you to be prepared for. See, the next phase, the next stage that you're heading to, if you go to that stage unprepared, then you're going to fumble it at that stage, you know, like a football, like a, a person playing football, they fumble the ball, they, they drop it, you know, it, God said, it, 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 he don't want you to fumble, he don't want you to fumble the ball, so he's preparing you, and sometimes in preparation, nah, shot, listen to me, been there, know where you at, know what you're dealing with, in preparation, when God prepare us for what's next, it's not a comfortable feeling, Sometimes it's, it's, it's done right just hard. It's done right just difficult. It's like, man, I just want to stay here because it's comfortable here. But no, no, God said, God said, it's 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 like a bird that that got to that got to get kicked out of the nest. So 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 what an eagle does is is to teach their birds, to teach their youngin to fly. They they put sticks and and, and debris up in the nest. So when the baby comes in and he try to sit down, it pokes him to keep him out of the nest so that he will learn to fly. Well, that's what's taking place in your life. These, these, there's thorns and, and thistles and things coming up in your life to, 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 to bring the uncomfort there so that you can fly. Yes, you know. Woo! Ha, ha! It's glory. Then I'm going to shut down. He's trying to get you to fly. He'll share that love ocean. That's why it's, that's why it's been weird lately. And God said it's going to get a little bit more weirder for you because He He, he bringing you to the next level. It's, it's it's time for you to go to the next phase. It's time for you to go to the next dimension. God said you 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 you're so amazing in the things that He placed inside of you. There's so much there. There's so much there that needs to be shown that the world needs to see, and the world will see. But God said you got to follow. And when it's time to go to the next level, God says, just humble yourself, do what needs to be done, and go to the next level. I had to learn that. And then some, there was times where I fought God. But I had to get past that and say, you know what? If it's time for me to go to the next level, Lord, I'm ready. Let's just, just let's go. Let's just do it. So you got to get the mentality of God. Let's, let's just do it. Whatever it takes, whatever I got to do to make the, to be, to make this a smooth transition so that when I get over here, I ain't fumbling. I'm willing to do it, Lord. Have your way. Glory be to God. Come on. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening for you. It's happening for you. It's happening for you. I said, I said, there's always a way. That seems right, but then it's all then it's always the right way. <laughs> There's a way that seems right, but then it's the right way. God said, "Don't don't get tricked with the way that seems right. Follow the way that is right." Oh glory! Hey, that's for Sister Red too, and Sister Green. There's a way that seems right, but then there's a way that is right. God said, 
follow the way that is right. Follow the way that is right. There is no trickery. There's no there's no deception. There's no 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 deceiver that's gonna come and throw you off if you follow the right way. Oh glory be to God. Now that all shot, come on, worship him. Worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sister Orange. Sister Orange. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a total makeover. A total makeover with you. Everything that you have came to get to be comfortable with, everything that you have done that you are used to doing I see God just changing it all over just redoing it redoing all of it um, you, 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 you're you kind of for the lack of a, of a better word you kind of um, you kind of like it plain easy simple um, not too flashy not too uh, not too many not too much attention. In fact, too much attention make you uncomfortable. Um, but God said, don't do it for them, do it for him. Yes. God said, what you don't understand is that he want you to look away, to a pure way, to, 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 to show his glory. And a lot of times when, 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 when we don't do that, we, we kind of hide behind Oh Lord, Sister Pink, grab, jump all over this because this is you too. We 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 hide because we don't want people to see. And, and God said, no 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 no, come back come come back around the corner here so that I can get my glory. You gotta understand this. When you decide to be plain, when you decide not to to be flashy, when you decide. To, 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 to run away from the attention when you decide to do that I'm talking to both of you this is pink and, and orange I'm talking to pink and orange when you decide to do that you're robbing God of his glory because when you come when you show who you really are then God gets the glory people get to see what God has done in your life. So I see a makeover in, in your life. I see a makeover in both of your lives. I see God really changing it all up and bringing you to a place where many will see. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you now that this is not going to be the most comfortable because you're going to start getting even more attention. That The, the, the attention that you don't want to get, you're going to get it. I'm talking to both of y'all. You're not going to like it at first, but then it's going to get to a point where it's going to be very, 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 very satisfying. And it'll be satisfying because you're going to know in the back of your heart, in the back of your mind, that this is all for God's glory. See, when, when it comes to witnessing to, to God's people, it's not about always what we say. See, when we think about witnessing, we think about just the things that are spoken. But there are also things that we do that witness to people. And it's also how we look that witness to people. They're also the lifestyle we live witness to people. So God is bringing you to a place where you will witness to people in a great, mighty, powerful way. Glory be to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sister Orange, you haven't gone for it yet. <laughs> you have not gone for it yet. You you still on the you still on the sideline. You still sitting over there wondering, should I just do this or not? God said, yeah. It's okay. Go for it. Go for it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. God said it would never be like it was before. Why? Because you're wiser now. Why? Because you're greater now. Why? Because he's with you. And you don't need to learn that lesson anymore. You don't need to go down that road anymore. You don't have to figure that out anymore. God said he got it. You got it. So in other words... Everyone, clap your hands. You have passed the test. There's no need to take a te another test. When you pass the test in God, He don't have to take you through that test anymore. You passed it. Now go for it. 
Glory be to God. Come on, rejoice with her, y'all. Sister Purple. Oh, Sister Purple. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You coming out. I, I, I see you coming out. It's almost like you was in the shadows. You was in the dark. Um, and it's funny because even though you don't mind being in the dark and the shadow, that's not really who you are. You've been hiding. Yeah, you have, cause you 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 more livelier than you really are. You more you louder than you than than than, than, than you've been showing. And God said, God said, what you got to understand is that that's what He wants. See, see, a lot of times the very things that we want to put down, the very things that we want to hide, the very things that we don't want nobody to see, is the very thing that God want to use. Those are the things that He used. So God said, even in that, God said, he's going to use you. God said, break out of tradition. I, I feel God. God said, break out of tradition. God said, they're, they're, you, you, tradition is actually so boring to you. You get tired of tradition. You get so tired of doing the same old thing, going to the same old places, listening to the same old stuff. I said, you one of those that like new things and, and fresh things and, 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 and things that are not the same. God said, okay. God said, he's with you on that. God said, he's going to give you a newness. He'll give you a whole new world. God said, he'll give you a whole new thing. I mean, I don't know why I'm hearing the song. It's kind of weird. I hear the song in Latin. And, you know, <laughs> don't ask me why. You know, the song, a whole new world. That I hear that song. I, I, I don't know. It might be, it obviously, it means something to you. That, that song, I hear that song, a whole new world. God's giving you a whole new world. A new everything. Everything about you. God said, by this time next year, Lesha, come on now. By this time next year, you're not even going to recognize you. And there's many that's around you is not going to recognize you. But they're going to love the new you. They're going to be so excited and they're going to want what you have. And that will be the time to give them Jesus. That is the time to give them Jesus. Give them, give them Jesus. So I see God pulling you out. Slowly but surely, but here you come. Here you come. Here you come, and you're going to do some great and mighty things for the Lord. It ain't too late. You ain't too old. I hear that the enemy always want to throw those things out there. Oh, you old now. Oh, it's too late now. No, 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 no. That, all of that is a lie. God said, you are not too late, and you're not too old. You're going to get it all done. And he's going to do it through you. In the, at the age you are now. And in in, 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 in not going to change. That doesn't change anything. Don't let that be a hindrance or slow or, or anything that slow you down. It's all a lie, a trick from the enemy. God says, bring you out. He's bringing you to a greater place in Him. I, I, even your relationship with Him has been getting better and better. God says He's calling you to be closer and closer to Him. I see you wrapped in the arms of the Lord, and you're another one, just like uh, uh, Brother Yellow. I can see. I can feel the love of God just coming upon you too, because you're another one that you experience it, but you 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 didn't experience it at the level that you wanted to or that you were sure of. So sometimes it comes in and you're like, well, is that is is this what love is or not? You know, you you you're not clear about it. And God said He's gonna show you what love really is. It shall not be good. Come on, come on, come on, worship Him. Come on, worship and worship and worship and worship and worship. And God said that there's there's so there's, there's so there's so much concern. You 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 you're someone that that that, that concern that have a lot of concern about family because you're such a family person. You 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 you're so concerned about the decisions that being made, and and you don't like them. You don't like them. And 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 and, and sometimes when you see it, it's almost like you feel like. It ain't your place. You just kind of back off and let it be, because you don't want to destroy relationships. You don't want to. You don't want to cause friction. But baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You have to get on the side of right. Do you hear me? If you truly love them, then always tell them the truth, and always give them what is right. Let me tell you something. I, I heard someone said to me that. You know, oh, your boy Bishop, like he don't care about his family. No, 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 no. That's the opposite. 
if I didn't care, then I'll just go along with whatever you do. I care and I love you and I don't want to see any of them going to hell. So I'm going to always push you to write, even if it does cause an issue of friction in our relationship. You got to get there where you can't be afraid of the friction because it's better that at the end of all of this, when you get to heaven, that person standing right there thanking God for you than it is for that person burning in hell and upset at the fact that you never said anything. Oh, God. That's for you too, uh, Brother Yellow. Don't be afraid to open your mouth. Don't be afraid to open your mouth. Another way, when you see it, you have to speak it. You have to speak it. Mm. That's why we listen to all the way through, because you never know. Sister Black. Sister Black. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm. Mm. I see God doing something in the form of transportation. I don't know. I don't know if you are looking for a new vehicle or you need a vehicle or you're having trouble with your vehicle. I don't know, but it's something in the form of transportation. Um, I see God turning that situation around. Um, uh, it's time for new. I hear him say new. Um, and you've been hesitating. You've been on the fence about it. You've been trying to figure out maybe, maybe I can hold on a little bit longer. No, no, no. God said new. Just go new. Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Um, and don't worry about, because sometimes when it's time for us to do something new, we, we can think about all the reasons why we shouldn't do it. You know, uh, you're talking to someone that does it all the time. And I, always, I can tell you all the reasons why I shouldn't do it. But I never look at the reason why I should. And you have to be careful with that because that will hinder you or stop you from moving. Or stop you from going forward. And you have to go into the new. Just go into it. Just just do it. And 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 and, 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 and I wonder like it's like how 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 in the world is gonna happen? It's not about how. All you've been waiting on is for the permission to go ahead. God has given you the permission to go ahead. Even moving, you you you. I, I I see you. It's a relocation. I, I don't know if you're moving out of state or you want to move out of state or or you want to move from a job or something. God said, go ahead, really go ahead and relocate to. Go ahead, make this, make the move, make the move. God says, there's nothing there anyway. Make the move. Why waste, why waste any more time with it? Just go ahead and do it. I, I know there's, there's, there's some people that can be sad about it, and some people can be frustrated. There's some people that are not gonna like it, but it's okay. God says it's okay because where you go, He goes. Hey, shit, ew, oh, 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 glory. Somebody give him praise. Where you go, He goes. God said He's right there with you. God said He's right there with you. And, and a lot of times when we want to see the hand of God really move in our life, we got to move first. And, and a lot of times it's, it's, it's not us waiting on God, it's God waiting on us. And sometimes we can delay God by him waiting on us. And, and so some, some delays is happening because you have not moved. You, you have been considering it, you've been thinking about it, but you haven't made those decisions. God said, make the decision and just do it. God, just do it. There, let, let me help you out on something. And, and because you're afraid of, you're worried about a mistake. There is no mistake in God. There is really no way you can make a mistake in God. Even if you make a mistake in God, it turns out for your good because it won't be a mistake. Because God turned that thing around for your good. So it, there's no real reason to ever fear that. There's no real reason to ever not make a mistake. To ever to, to not make a decision. And I'm, I'm jumping down, but Brother Blue, I'm coming to you, but that's for you too. It, it's Make the decision. It, a lot of times, it, it, we're afraid to make a decision. We try to get all of the information first, and then we make the decision. Bishop is guilty of that one, man, man. I'll tell you, boy, but I'll collect information for so long. There's nothing wrong with collecting information and then making a decision, but sometimes we collect so much information, we got to get every T crossed, every... Uh, I dotted. We gotta. We it, it gotta be a, a sign with a big pointer on it. It, it. It's like everything gotta be like this before I make the decision. No, 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 no. God leaves out important information so that you can walk in faith, that you can step out in faith. I've done it a thousand times, and I had to step out in faith on a lot of things. And I'm gonna tell you, it's scary, but at the same time. 
when you realize that he's with you, it's, it's not as kind of, it's not as scary. It's not as bad. Sister Black, do it. Just do it. Just do it. There's your permission. You've been waiting on permission. You've been wondering, is it time? Yep. <laughs> Glory be to God. Yep, it is time. Go right ahead. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Brother Blue. Yeah. That's funny because y'all are similar. Same thing with you. It's time. Yeah. Go ahead. What are you waiting on? I hear God say, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? How much more information do you need? What else you What else you trying to figure out? Could it be this, Brother Blue? Could it be the missing information that you're looking for? Is it possible that you don't you don't got it because you didn't make the decision? Let me help you because I I've done this. I've done this. Ain't, ain't y'all glad that Bishop goes through some stuff for everybody? <laughs> I'm just playing. There's many times where I didn't make a decision because I didn't have enough information. And I kept trying to get the information, but I couldn't get it until I made a decision. When I made the decision, then all of the information that I was looking for, it just came with, with the decision. So sometimes God waits on us to make the decision first, and then he releases the information that we need. So I know that's backwards because, I, but again, we're not of this world. We're in it, but not of it, remember? So our world, our systems in God is completely different than the way the world operates. And I get it. I get it, man. You, you're a wise man. You're a smart man. And, and it's like you look at things in a way that others don't look at it. I mean, you you very detailed at things. You, you try to... You know, you're, you're another one that wanted you to cross those T's and dot those I's. I mean, if it ain't, that T ain't crossed and that, that I ain't dotted, then I, then that it can't be. Not necessarily so. Not necessarily so. The, the, the saying that comes to me, uh, I hear people, you know, people say all the time, if it, if it crack like a duck and it walk like a duck, it's a duck. Well, not necessarily when it comes to God. Because, son, it can crack like a duck. It, it can walk like a duck and it can be a frog. There's easy, it's easy to misinterpret things when we figure we already know what it is. We don't. And and, and, and I, I'm guilty of that myself, man. I've done that so many times, dude. You wouldn't believe it. I've done that so many times. I said, hey, man, that is blue. And God said, How many, will you let me tell you that's black? And I'm like, no. But it's, I, Lord, based on what I know, Based on the color system that, that I grew up with, based on Craig Ola, it's blue. <laughs> and God said, son, don't you understand I have the power to make that black? If I say it's black, it's black. So I had to learn <laughs> to get out of me and, and, and say, okay, God, if you say it's black, it's black. Okay. So you have to understand that God is always going to exceed our expectations. He's always going to exceed our mental capacity. He's always going to exceed our way of thinking, our, our mindset, and everything that you got to let him do it. Sometimes it's us that gets in the way of what of progress, of what God wants to do in our life. Sometimes we stand in our own way. And man, I'm guilty of that one. I stood in my own way for so many for so long. And I learned, I had to learn, just get out of the way. And let God have his way. The more, the less of me, then it's the more him. The, the, the more I back off, the more he can come forth. The more I stop, the more he can go ahead. I had to learn that. And, 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 I, and I hear God saying that for you. And, 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 and there's been some new circumstances that's taking place in your life that, that, that you wouldn't expect. Uh, you thought about it, but you didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, but it's okay because not only did it, it may be somewhat of a surprise to you and I, and I use the word somewhat loosely God already knew and since God already knew God already took care of it and since he already took care of it that call, that means you can be at peace about it that's it you just go straight into peace because there's sometimes things are so heavy on you and sometimes you don't seem like you, it's hard because you don't have anybody to share it with and you don't have nobody to kind of dump on or release it to because 
you you like me that felt that I have to always be strong and I don't need nobody to know that I am weak at this moment, but it's okay. Because guess what? None of us is strong as God. You know, I hear God say, just cast your cares upon him. For he cares for you. He loves you. And you are important to him. And God said, you have to understand, he don't have you on repeat. There's no repeat in your life. God said, he's not taking you back to the things that you've gotten out of. God is bringing you forward to the things, to the new things. New beginnings is taking place in your life. New worlds is happening for you. God said, bring it all together and watch him show out. Watch him show you his glory. Watch him make it happen for you. God said, he's going to do it in a matter of days. God said, you're going to look around and you're going to see things starting to shape up within a matter of days. You will begin to see things that was really weird or, 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 or you weren't sure about or you was confused about. He said, just within a matter of days, you're going to just start to see. God said, yes, that's, that's it. That's, this is it. This is, this is it. You found it. You found exactly what you were looking for. You found it. It's there. And sometimes it doesn't, because sometimes you, <laughs> glory be to God. Sometimes, man, when we find things that both, that, that God, or, or we get the thing that God tell us that is ours, sometimes it's almost like looking at it like, you, you're like, Lord, are you sure this is mine? <laughs> because it's like, woo, woo, this is not in the package that I thought it was going to be. And this, woo, I wasn't expecting that, woo, but it's okay. It's still yours. And, 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 and you know what I learned? That once you unwrap it, once you clean it up, once you move all of the stuff off it, you'll find that it was a diamond in the rough. You will find that everything that in that is everything you need. Glory be to God. Somebody worship it. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Ooh, that's your mom, Bosha. I'm not a Bosha time. So, I don't want you to share your, your color. Don't share it. And it's important that you don't. Um, with other people in the uh, group. Your color is your color. However, um, you can give God the glory for what God has said to you. Um, this is a word to take personally. <laughs> Some things we should take personally, but this is something to take personally because this was personally to you. Um, God loves you. And you have to understand how important you are to him. I recognize your importance. So I honor God for every one of you. I don't do this because I like doing it. I don't do it because I, I just want to do it. I, I ain't doing it because I'm trying to receive any glory or anything from it. I do it because I simply love God's people. And I love every one of you that is part of this that have connected to this ministry, that is friends to this ministry, that has supported this ministry. Um, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. I thank you for being part of this. I thank you for helping me and motivating me to continue to push to do the will of God. And I know that you wonder, like, well, I don't do nothing. You do more than you think you do. Um, so I ask that I thank you for watching the videos I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for all of the likes. I thank you for uh, the, the financial uh, support. I thank you for uh, the, the, the phone calls, the testimonies. Uh, I thank you for everything that you do. Uh, you are not taking lightly. So as we close, uh, I pray this, that Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that just as it been spoken, that it will be done. I pray that you establish it in each and every one of their lives. Sister Green, 
I pray to God that you do it. That she will, that she will accept everything that was spoken. And that she will flow in it. That Sister Red will receive and accept the wind that is coming into her life. That Brother Yellow, oh God, will accept the love that you've been wanting him to have. Lord God, that Sister Brown will go ahead and influence and push up the other. That Sister Pink will come out and let your glory be seen. That Brother Wright accept the fact of the uncomfortable place so that he can move into the comfortable place. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that Sister Orange, oh God, will let you do this awesome makeover that you're doing. That Sister Purple, oh God, will come out of the shadows <laughs> and fulfill what it is you call them to fulfill. Sister Black will accept the new, to accept the new in every area of her life. And then also Brother Blue. That God, although he's like I am in a lot of ways, I pray God that he will become even greater than he already is. I pray that you show him his path, you show him who he is, and let him walk in it without the T, the crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Just let him move in faith. Teach him like he taught me. I know that it's uncomfortable, but he can do it. He got, he, he got it. He got it. To next time, thanks. I love you. We magnify God for you and we'll see you. Watch, don't forget to um, like and subscribe. Well, we won't have to worry about that this one. But we praise God for you and we'll see you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.